Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing this makeup look here. It is colorful. It is fun. We're using new makeup that I've never used before. And we're actually using two palettes for this look, both by the brand She Glam. This video is sponsored by She Glam, so thank you guys so much for working with me. I'm so excited. They let me try out their new makeup. Let me know if you guys are familiar with She Glam. You can actually purchase them on the She In website, where a lot of you guys get your favorite clothes. I see people wearing She In all the time. This is, by the way, I do have a little secret discount code for you at the end of this video that you can use like on the entire freaky website. So if you need new spring anything, pay attention. Anyway, but yeah, you guys, you can purchase She Glam on the She In website. This is their new spring collection called Spring It On. Super cute. And there are two gorgeous palettes. Look at this packaging, you guys. They're both nine pan palettes. The best part is the price. They only cost $6.50 a piece. So let me show you this. Let's start with the Bloom palette. Here she is in all her glory. Look at that beautiful artwork on the front. I love that. There are nine beautiful shadows. As I said, it is a nine pan palette and they are gorgeous. Obviously this one's very pinky, very purple, very burgundy, just beautiful. Colors that I love, but I pushed myself today to use both. And that's how I came up with this fun look because the next one one is the clover palette and this is more minty green gorgeousness again check out the detail I love 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 the packaging both palettes have mattes they have shimmers they have metallics and it's just beautiful really really beautiful my green lovers my plant mamas out there this is for you so I use both of those palettes to create this eye look today we also have highlighters we have gloss we have blush we have cream to powder blush like I said this is my first time ever using she glam but I'm excited for them it's new it's affordable it's exclusive on the Shein website so you can't get anywhere else and you can also purchase it on the Shein app it doesn't just have to be the website but it is exclusive to the Shein website and app so make sure you go there if you want to check any of this out by the end of my video like I said I do have a discount code that I'm gonna let you guys know about at the end of the video so stay tuned for that but I mean just like wink wink it's in the description box it's 15% off of everything it's a big deal anyway <laughs> okay I can't decide which one to work with I really can't I think I'm gonna try to use both Maybe like a pinky minty look would be fun. Let's start with the She Glam Spring It On Bloom Palette. And right off the bat, I want to go into the shade Unspoken. Kind of a bone color. <laughs> Is that a good descriptive word? A creamy bone. <laughs> and just lay this down as our base and a little bit along the brow bone for our highlight. I really don't want to go too dark with this makeup. I'm really trying to get more into this more natural makeup vibe that's going on that I love and adore. But like my soul just craves color and I love just pigment so very much. It's like almost hard for me to do this kind of current makeup trend. It's gorgeous. But then I see a palette filled with color and I'm like, I need the color. <laughs> I can't steer away from it. It's just it's what I want. So just packing that on all over the lid. Next, I want to go into the shade Love Bites. This is gorgeous and it's super pigmented. Be careful. I was trying not to do too much and now here I am doing too much. It just, it's who I am. I got to stop trying to fight it. I'm just going to bring that through the crease as our transition, just like so. Very, very pretty. Oh my God, I'm sorry, you guys. I realized you weren't zoomed in. Thank goodness we're only one eyeshadow down. This is so pretty. Very beachy, beachy pink, you know what I mean? Not too dark. I like it a lot. Next, jumping into the gorgeous Clover palette. Um, Just so you know, it is so hard for me to stay out of these darker ones, but I'm trying to stay on a spring trend, even though my soul lives within this bottom row. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into the shade Derby and pop that in the outer corner. I love the size of these palettes. They're like a really good size. Very minimal fallout, by the way, too. I was like, let me hold off on doing my foundation first because I'm not sure what the fallout's gonna be like. This is my first time trying them, but it looks like I would have been just fine applying my foundation, which is always nice. Oh my God, there I go, go getting too smoky. And I told myself to just keep it light. That's okay. It's okay, I am who I am, you know? It is what it is. They melt together really nicely. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of effort to blend like a pink and this brown together. Sometimes it can get a little streaky with certain brands. So I'm happy to see how night, like look at that, just effortlessly blends in. I want to jump back into the Bloom palette and get a little bit into this one here. It's called It's My Jam and just marry that into that brown. Oh my goodness gracious. She is bold. That's okay. Wow. Wow. I did not see that coming. I just wanted to layer this over top of the brown. I think it'll tie it in with the crease shade really nicely. 
All right, I want to do something a little risky. I have a look in my mind that I really want to do. I'm nervous on if I'll be able to pull it off. It's all about the blend with this, with these particular sh shades, like minty and kind of burgundy-ish can be tricky. We're going to go for it. I'm going to take a little bit of It's My Jam, and I'm tapping off my brush as much as possible because this is something I want to build into nicely. And I just want to pop this on the inner corner right there. That's so pretty. I can pull it off. I think it'll be really cute. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I took a risk. Okay, I'm just going back in with the brush that has um, It's My Jam on it just to do a little minor blending here I still have to do. You guys know I've been on a little bit of a hiatus and I haven't done something so colorful in like a month. And so I'm like, I'm intimidating myself right now. I'm like, oh my God, don't screw this up. I'm like getting back into the swing of things here. Gosh, it's a beautiful color though. Oh my goodness gracious. I love that. Okay, can we do it? We're gonna try. I'm gonna take Pining For You, this super dark greeny teal, and a little bit of County Club, Country Club. That's so cute. Oh my God, I'm so scared. And I want to pack that, you know, as you do with these types of smoky eyes, right? Kind of connecting there. Oh, I'm thinking, should I cut crease this? Is it too late? I'm adding a bit more in here. Oh, oh my God, I think I might do it. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be back and playing with color. And then the same on this outer crease, or outer V really, kind of transitioning onto the lid so we can have a, just a nice transition between them all. Don't lose faith in me, I promise. This is gonna look really good. And now same on the other eye. What was the last really colorful look you guys did? And what has your makeup routine kind of been like right now? With spring and quarantine and everything, are you totally embracing the whole kind of natural no makeup makeup trend that's kind of back right now? Or are you still a color lover like I am? It will just never leave me. I'm taking a little bit more of just uh, pining for you, just alone. Cause I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go bold. We're gonna go bold. We're adding more of this teal. I loved where it was going. Then I was like, I need more. I need more. Let me just embrace it. Let's embrace the color. Same on this side and right here. The color I've been waiting for. We're gonna get into Sunday's Best. This beautiful minty color. And we're gonna pop that right in the center and marry those shades together. Oh my God, I think this is gonna look so cool when like, it's hard to see it when your face isn't done and everything and your lashes, but I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I cannot remember the last time I had a super minty makeup. Do you guys remember there was like a year where like all of our favorite colors were like a minty green. Like everyone in the world's favorite color was like a minty green. I don't necessarily know what I wanna do under the eyes yet. I'm still thinking it over. So I'm gonna throw on my uh, foundation and some mascara and I'll be back to finish off the rest of the face and figure out what we're gonna do under here. So I will be right back. Okay, I've done my foundation and I added just a little bit of a wing liner. I also changed my shirt because this eye makeup is so bold and so colorful, the mob just did not look right with it. So I thought, okay, let me switch shirts. Next, we're getting onto the rest of the face. So we're gonna be using the She Glam Spring It On Cream to Powder Blush. This is in the shade Flash Moth, which I think is hilarious. This is only $4 and it comes in three different shades that I will show you guys here. There's Dose of Rose, which is a peony pink shade. There's Permanent Vacation, which is the Sunkissed Bronze shade. And then of course there is Flash Mob, which is a dusty rose shade. And just like it sounds, these are a cream to powder. So we're gonna take a little bit on, what do I wanna use? I like to use a brush for my cream to powders. I'm gonna squeeze just a bit on the back of my hand here. Oh, gorgeous, look at this color. Isn't that pretty? I don't want too much because the eyes are so, so bold. We really need to be careful with the rest of the look. So just a little bit for a nice natural flush. Oh, it really is cream to powder, that's crazy. It's like going straight to powder. Oh, it's nice. Very, 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 very natural flush. Almost like you've just been in the sun and your cheeks just get a little rosy. Wow, I put way too much on my hand. I did not need that much. A little definitely goes a long way. And for only $4, you guys, it's a steal. The prices are fantastic. Isn't that pretty? It also gives the face just kind of a nice little glow, but we do have a highlighter we're gonna use as well. Next for highlighter, this is the Spring It On Liquid Highlighter in the shade Fancy Fizz. Isn't the packaging just the cutest? I love these little tubes and I love the color. So there are three different highlighters. Again, all $4 each. There's the shade Rose Code, which is a shimmery pink shade. There's Hello Halo, a glittery silver and gold shade. And then of course, Fancy Fizz, which is a light gold shade. Ooh, that is so 
pretty. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You could just keep this in your bag if you like a little body highlighter because whoa, oh my gosh. That is amazing. That looks like just straight up dewy golden skin. Okay, I don't want to get too carried away. So again, I think I'm going to go in with a brush because this is powerful. You don't need a whole lot unless you're going for a whole lot. That's cool too. So I'm just going to take a little bit on a highlighter brush, just picking it up on my hand. Look at that. That's crazy. And go in very lightly. I want like a nice kind of candlelight effect. Oh my God, it's so pretty. See, even though it's, it's super bold, you don't have to use it super boldly. You know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. And then just blending it in a bit with my finger. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I was not expecting it to smell so good. A little bit more, just like right on the front of my cheeks there. Pretty! Okay, for the eyes, I've sat here thinking about a thousand things to do, but I want to keep it more subtle because the top eye is so bold. I think it probably would be the safest. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Derby again, just very, very softly running that along the lower lash line. That's all it needs. It does not need anything else. All right, so I added a little bit of mascara. Now for the lips. I'm torn. I don't think we should do much and it feels weird because I always love a bold lip, but when the eyes are so bold, you really shouldn't compete. I mean, you can, it's, it's your preference, but I don't feel like competing with the eyes with this. So I'm probably gonna do something a little more sheer, um, but there are four glosses here. So these babies here are the Spring It On Glow Gloss. They are very glowy. Again, only four bucks each. This shade here is the VI Peach. As I'm sure you could have guessed, it is a nude peachy color. We have See It Through, which is what I'll probably do today. And it's just a clear with gold glitter. Look at that glow in it, isn't it pretty? Next we have Pink Slip, which is a soft pink, very glowy. This one is beautiful and I, I wish, I almost wish I did a different look so that I could wear this one specifically. This is Espresso Yourself and it is a muted brown. Each one actually contains a different ingredient, a different formula to help your lips with kind of whatever you're looking for. Espresso Yourself contains geranium, I believe it's pronounced, and that helps to soften your lips, which is always great. See It Through contains aloe for moisture. Pink Slip contains camellia extract to help repair any damaged lips. And VI Peach contains calendula extract. If I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I apologize. I believe it's calendula extract. And that also helps to soothe your lips. So each one contains something that is good for your lips. So I'm gonna take See It Through. I just think it's the most fitting for this eye makeup. Oh, it's so pretty. So glowy. By the way, they are a non-sticky formula. Oh my god, yeah. It feels like, ooh, just huggable. Huggable to the lips, non-sticky, not tacky, icky, which is very interesting. I feel like that's hard to find in the squeezy tube type of glosses. No tackiness, no gunkiness. Awesome. Super, super nice. That is gorgeous. Okay, I have to say, I've enjoyed all of this, but I'm loving this blush and highlighter. It's a beautiful, beautiful glow. The blush wasn't too much. It's, I mean, you could have it best of both worlds. You could have a lot of pigment if you wanted to, or you can keep it more subtle like I did, but still get this really, really natural coloring to the cheeks. By the way, the highlighters and the cream to powder blushes both contain rose extracts. It helps to hydrate your skin naturally. It helps to balance your natural oils. It helps with redness and just overall creates a smoother look, less noticeable pores, things like that. So that's really nice. I do love that a lot of their products have an extra ingredient in there for you. Something special, not just makeup, but something to actually benefit you in some way other than just, you know, looking amazing. <laughs> If you guys wanted to check out any of the She Glam cosmetics, I will link them down below. You're gonna wanna go to the She In website. And of course I do have a special discount code for you guys. You can use the code SHAY and that will actually work on the entire She In website, the entire website, whatever you want. But if you specifically wanna try any of the makeup, just type in Spring It On into their search bar and it'll pull right up for you. Again, my code is SHAY, 15% off. Okay, go check that out. I will link everything down below for you guys, of course. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.